This crowd is kind of underdressed. Wow, look at the one with the pink hair. Cute. <laughs> How many of these things are we going to need to do remix? How many times do I have to apologize to Taylor Swift? OK, girlfriend, you just need to get over it, say you're sorry sincerely, and go with the flow and just move on. I know. I'm sorry. I am grateful that I can collaborate with you. Flashback. Oh, do you remember when we first started to collaborate? Mm, I, my goodness, I do. It was the Earthworks Project. That's when Haztec gave us a grant to produce an interactive badge. And I remember all too well, we were just put together randomly, and it was just assumed that we could or would collaborate. It was like heading off on a road trip with five people, a bus full of advisors, and then finding out that you're all going to get married tomorrow oh, morning. Oh, gosh, really? And we had no idea. In the beginning, we introduced ourselves and shared emails, and I remember a lot of talking and texting and emails. You sent so many emails and texts. OK, thanks, BFF. But what really, when people pisses me off about collaboration, yeah. is when people talk about collaboration, they talk about shared vision, project objectives, well, if you really want to talk about collaboration, you got to talk about trust. Whoa, trust. I have trust issues. Don't you have trust issues? And unfortunately, you can't buy trust at Target. It's not reinvented with a 3D printer, and there is no HTML code for it either. Oh, I just don't know why not. If you're going to collaborate, I guess you do need to deal with your trust issues. Do you remember I, I talked to you about uh, the consulting uh, collaborative approach where you have to learn to listen or the talking stick that makes you learn to listen? I love the talking stick. It is a really neat, neat tool in Native American culture that gets you to listen. Unfortunately, we have a hard time using the talking stick because we, live, we collaborate virtually. I know. And collaboration is about listening. Not only listening to what your partner says, but what they don't say. And we started working together. It was really tough because we couldn't see each other. Google Hangouts has helped us a lot in our collaboration. It's not just what we say. It's how we communicate with our eyebrows. For example, this means, hmm, I don't know how we do that, but that's really interesting. And this means, I think we better rethink this. Oh, I do not do that. Well, it also meant that Michelle and Gary had to stop playing games while we were meeting. And it also meant that uh, Greg and I had to stop responding to our emails while we were meeting. And you had to remember about time zones. I know. I don't know why time zones are such a challenge to me. There's an app for that, you know. There is? Yes. Cool. And here's what would happen. We would sit there, we'd get ready, and, 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 and we'd just wait and wait and wait. And just when I thought it was time to leave, they would appear. And then we'd get going with some ideas and we'd be rolling, and then someone would disappear. And I started to think, where did they all go? And is this a hang-up or a hang-out? The important thing to remember about collaborations is that they're supposed to be messy. It gets messy. You want to disagree. You want to get confused. Because that's the space where inspired creativity happens. And you know me, I have no shame. I'd like to quote from my book called Amy Poehler. Engaged collaboration is not compromise and consensus. It's an amplified learning activity. Collaboration is about working with a team who has shared vision, common, common objectives, but think, know, and learn differently. It can be messy, but it, and it has its tear your hair out moments. You have a tear on. Oh, thank you. But cool and surprising things will happen, and you end up with unparalleled results. Thank you.